What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about two of my favorite things. Tools that help you wash your car efficiently like this thing here. We're going to talk about it. And of course, this old thing over here. This is the Bacani Huayra. We're going to give it a wash and uh, I'll give you the tour afterwards. But more importantly, we're going to talk about this tool that's going to change the way you wash your car. That and more coming up on this episode of Ride Along. So they sit on top of each other. Oh, that's You might be asking yourself, why am I so excited about a piece of plastic? Well, let's back up a little bit. You guys know the grit guard, which is this original one right here. Usually you put one, two, maybe even three in the bucket. And when you're washing the car, you dunk the mitt and all the junk that's on the mitt from the car will get trapped in the bucket. And I'll show you a picture here. I just did a, a car a few minutes ago and everybody knows it. Anyone who washes a car nowadays basically has this. It's a $10 or whatever it is. And it'll last you for the rest of your, your, your car's life. Um, but now they come out with something even cooler, and this is called the washboard. Now the washboard, this is a this this right here is actually a prototype, but they just came out with uh, like the real version of it, and it's black and red and all these crazy colors. And what you do is it actually plugs into the current uh, grit guard, and so you can just stick it in there, right? And there's little holes and whatnot. And what it actually does is when now um, pretend this is in the bucket, you won't be able to see it, but this is in the bucket. It's connected here, right? So when it's connected, you have your wash mitt, and instead of just dunking in before, and then sometimes you could you know, scrape the bottom, you, you're gonna take this and you're gonna rub, and mind you, this will be here, you're gonna rub back and forth, and the little hairs get trapped in these uh, little uh, holes and will just kind of shake out the dirt. It's unbelievable. So this is like massive, because everybody washes their car, and when, when there's an idea that you go like, oh, I should have thought of that, those are the ideas that are like the best ones. Remember this one, when this came out, you're like, man, this is amazing. So this is just another uh, cool way to really ring it out. Instead of in the past where you put your, your, your bucket in here and you've seen me in a ton of videos, I'd squeeze this out, kind of do that kind of motion. Well, I don't really have to do that all that much, uh, you know, like that anymore. With this, I just spend my time scrubbing. So anyways, yeah. uh, that's my little quick, video on this thing. We'll shoot a lot more. I'll show you uh, again in, in, in video how it works, but really not that complicated. It lasts forever and it's like 10 bucks or whatever. Um, so, and the people who make this are really cool. They're called, their, their names are Lambs. Uh, if you're watching, thanks again uh, for inventing some cool stuff. It's a family owned business, uh, small company, really, really uh, good people. So support them. That's uh, always nice to support small business. Anyways, I'm sure you guys are watching like, hey, that's really exciting, but we want to see this thing back here. I don't really have anything special <laughs> to uh, say because it's, it's, it's so ridiculous that I don't even know what to say. Um, but I'll give you uh, the behind the scenes and I'll show you what it looks like inside and uh, it's a real privilege to work on it. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, shoot me an email at Larry at AmmoNYC.com. As always, thanks for watching and then uh, stay tuned. After this, we're going to play with the Bagani. Thanks guys. After cleaning the wheels and gently washing the paint, I dried the carbon fiber with Ammo Hydrate and a microfiber cloth to avoid any drying love marks. Afterwards, I added ammo reflex to the exposed carbon and it looked dripping wet. Detailing a car, any car, is a great way to really explore and notice every facet of the vehicle. A Pagani will make your head spin when it comes to details, like this leather strap, which holds the rear clam down. Notice the tiny Pagani logo along the side of the buckle or even how close and precise the clam comes to the gull wing doors as it opens. All right, so you're asking yourself, where's the storage? Well, there's two carbon fiber boxes on either side of the car in front of the rear wheel for your, I don't know, mini golf clubs. One of my favorite aspects of the car is the door handle, which is hidden and just simply awesome. This tiny jewel looking knob pulls upwards to release the wings. I'm sitting in the cockpit of the Huayra, and as you can imagine, I'm actually using that word specifically, cockpit, because I feel like I'm in a fighter jet with all these buttons and things. And when I start the car up, there's a button that you need to push before you, before you actually start it. And it says initiating sequence and it, all the computers and all these random things are going on. But it's like you kind of just sit back and go, oh my gosh, there's like a movie going on here. Lights are flashing and uh, it's one of the most spectacular things I've seen. And uh, more about the key. It's actually magnetized, but look at it. It's like a little car, obviously. It's a Huayra. So you take this piece off, and you wouldn't want to lose it, obviously. And there's a little um, little stand here, a little key stand, or I don't even know what you want to call it. I'll take a, a picture of that. It's pretty cool. And of course, you stick it in uh, right underneath the, uh, the, the uh, radio here, 
and twist it, etc. But if you look at it, it looks just like a AMG key um, because we have an AMG engine, so that makes total sense. One of the other things that I think is really cool is uh, you may not be able to see it here, but I'll pull it and take another shot. There's an emergency uh, button to unlock to get out. I kind of think of it as an ejector seat because I do feel like I'm in a, uh, a fighter jet. And then one detailing thing I want to tell you about, the glass this year. There's lots of glass and a lot of beautiful uh, artistry uh, in here. And you really want to wipe it down with a microfiber towel, no problem. You can spray it on the actual towel. You can put a little... Um, um, Spray wax as well because there's some uh, carbon fiber here that's that's coated, so that's fine. The big thing is you don't want to spray anything on this area because um, there's so much glass that it could seep behind it, and that that goes for any car, for this one or a Honda Civic or whatever. You never want to spray anything on the glass or use compressed air because it'll just seep underneath. And I've seen it way too many times where it actually stained the inside of the glass, and you can wipe it forever and you can't get it off. So that's something to keep in mind. Again, I got to do some detailing geekiness when I'm talking about this, but. Holy cow, I'll take, the, I'll take the camera in here, and it's, it's pretty much the most ridiculous car I've ever been in. The Huayra is pushed by a mid-engine twin-turbo V12 by AMG, boasting 720 horsepower, 0 to 60 time in 3 seconds flat, and a top speed of 238 miles an hour. However, my favorite part is the titanium exhaust, which only weighs 22 pounds and sounds as good as it looks. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. I used my washboard to get the car looking beautiful, as you can see. Cleaned it up and put a little bit of uh, ammo reflex on there, and it looks ridiculously shiny. Look at that. Uh, the car's amazing. And the wings. Look at that shot from the rear. If that's not a cockpit, I don't know what is. Unbelievable. Looking fantastic. Interior, once again. And the full walk around. Woo! Oh my gosh, frustrating. As always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.